Hello, welcome back to my channel Teaching Learning English. As you know, in this channel, we mainly talk about business communication, IELTS practice, English language, and other academic and professional skills that are very useful for the students and you know the businessmen as well as the professionals. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about the use and understanding of English language. Many people in this world who have been learning English as their second language, they are not satisfied with their knowledge, understanding and so many things about English language. The way they use English language doesn't you know, sound as natural because they are not doing it. So uh, the use of English language, their perception and understanding, whatever knowledge they have is really you know, uh, that not satisfactory what they are uh, uh, assuming that uh, on the basis of their you know expectation and uh, suppose that should be but it had not but it has not been done in the field so why this is happening this is the main problem that everybody has to understand this is happening because they are not using it edge naturally edge it is supposed to be used that we people think uh, the use and you know, practice of English language something a little bit more artificial way, not that much natural way. I um, also used to do, used to do the things in a similar way in past. I had been spending so many you know uh, months and years to practice my English. Uh, but the problem with me was that I started to learn English language at the little bit. Uh, late in my life, not that much in the very beginning of my life, but I started it about the age of 15. So it became automatically like the very difficult job for me. It was not like a piece of cake. But again, you know, I spent a lot of time in you know reading newspapers and writing something else, and I also even engaged myself in watching television, different shows and movies, and you know sports commentaries and so many things. Uh, that would also not have been working in a very positive way because you know I used to uh, find myself very uh, you know uh, very rigid and in very artificial way or it's all about the very formal learning later on I uh, after a long you know duration of time zone also I could not feel myself as very comfortable while using English language and it would not be uh, um, interesting as well as you know, uh, very natural in the use of English. But later on I decided to make it more natural whenever I engaged in you know, communication, reading, writing, speaking, or listening, whatever the skills of the language and in a similar way uh, to watch the you know aspects of language for example vocabularies and grammar all those things uh, actually you know um, brought the changes i could easily notice the things that would uh, uh, seem very you know uh, constructive and very uh, uh, high level of improvements in the use of English language. So I really want to request all of you, if you really want to get very natural, you know, command over English language. Don't, you know, try to make it uh, in a very, uh, you know, only in a very formal scenario. Four walls of the schools or classrooms or college rooms or whatever you say. Why don't you, you know, bring it with you and make it more natural as you do something in your first language or you know native native years so these days i have been also going to different colleges and different schools where the, the you know i have been trying to be mingled with the students or let's say graduates we have been uh, practicing their english in a very little bit uh, you know different way even though their english is um, far better you know accurate and more uh, sound more professional but again whenever they speak it doesn't sound you know the natural so naturalness in english use is required highly in these days so uh, i really want to assure you through my experience that when i stop to make it more formal more conscious and more restricted 
I made it more liberal and you know more um, uh, everyday kind of activities like you know casual thing of my life then it became natural in my life I really want to assure you that to practice that way so that you can also make your English use more natural and uh, if you are not that much convinced with my ideas again it's okay why don't you you know put into experiment so that you will also tell the similar way uh, after you know getting those sweet fruits of you know improvements and learnings and you know uh, enhancing your english in a more confident way so whenever you use you know you will make it as your you know natural phenomena rather than you know being very strict and frozen uh, while speaking uh, let's say while using language last but not the least you know i really want to say that you know if you make english language more natural more usual more casual then only you can you know conduct the things in english otherwise you know uh, only the you know very conscious use of language is not the natural use of language because language is used for communication language is a means of communication so main purpose is not to use language but to communicate with the people through language we are sharing our opinions you know ideas feelings emotions information logic facts and so many things so if you become more formal then how can you share your feelings and opinion these are some of the ways to be convinced about the use of natural language i hope this video has become at least you know supportive to your uh, English language learning and go through the you know, natural way of practicing and using English then please do not forget to comment and suggest me how this technique has been working in your life after practicing it or during the you know, practice session also you can suggest me something or if you have any questions and queries you can ask me I'll try my best to make you satisfied and this is the platform where we can you know, practice our English I hope this channel has become very supportive to you and till now I have about 28 more than 28k subscribers that's very lovely exciting also so have a very good time and see you in the next video thank you very much